These doors came into my shop, partly stripped, some of them with just pieces of the wood removed, and the client needed them to match the finish of the existing doors. So I'm gonna show you how I took this to this in refinishing historic doors. This video was sponsored by my friends over at Minwax. So with there being finish on some parts of the door and bare wood on others, it made it a real challenge to try and match the color and tone exactly. Now this door was sanded all the way down, pretty much, and so we had a different challenge to try and match what was there on a pretty much a stripped door. So I turned to my trusty little Minwax color wheel here and I just am able to use this to get as close to the color. I knew it wouldn't be an exact match, but I was looking for the color that was closest. This was gonna be my base stain color. And for us on this one, it ended up being red chestnut. So we'll start there and I'm testing it up against here. So the first thing I did is I like to grab a rag and I'm gonna wipe the grain of the wood down. I've already sanded and I had a scrap piece of heart pine that was very similar to these doors. I was gonna use that as a tester, as a sample. Now, starting with the red chestnut, these Minwax stains are great. Lots of pigment in them. You gotta mix them up very well, shake the can up very well, and then just dip the stain in, get it on the wood, and get it off the wood. I'm not gonna let this sit for a long time. I just wanna see what it looks like on the wood. Now, when I looked at it, it wasn't quite red enough, so I had to come through and I added a little red Sedona, which is another Minwax color that I know has a lot of red to it. And I put that up against there, and it's close. I've got the red tone, but the grain, I'm looking at the grain, and it's a little bit too dark. So I have to use a little less red Sedona. So I had settled on a mixture of one part red Sedona and two parts uh, of the red chestnut. That got me pretty much where I think I'd be in the ballpark and I could do a little bit more testing. That's the great thing about these Minwax stains. I can mix them up and customize them, tweak them exactly how I need to match these historic finishes. So using my sample piece, I'm gonna try a little bit. I looked at it, I was happy with how the dark wood came out, and so I started putting it on one to see how it turns out. And I started on the door that was already finished so I could see if it was really spot on. After I wiped it off, I was really happy with the color. Now you have to keep in mind that this has a polyurethane finish on it and what I've stained doesn't have any finish on it. So there's gonna be a little bit more amber to it. There's gonna be a little bit more um, opaqueness to it as well. So it's not gonna look exact when you just stain it. You're gonna to have to get some finish on to see how close you really were. And then this happens. A piece of wood that doesn't want to take the stain. Well, I'll show it who's boss. I came in with some crazy 120 grit. I sanded it down real hard. And I'm going to even this out a bit because I'm going to make this wood take stain. I cleaned it off and I'm going to restain it. And this time, <laughs> oh yeah. Back on track. Now back to staining the other door. Now I've got my mix that I'm very happy with and I'm just going through and covering this whole thing with stain. Wiping it down, I'm letting it sit for maybe three to five seconds and wiping it down. Need a little bit of a second coat and you can see it's a little bit lighter than the other one but the other one has a lot of finish on it. We're gonna resolve that in just a minute. So for this project I'm using Minwax's Helmsman Spar Urethane because these doors are gonna be exposed to a lot of sun and it works great, especially if you've got an exterior door. These will be interior, but this finish can work on either interior or exterior. Now, I wanna see what one coat of finish looks on it. I know that Helmsman Spar Urethane has a little bit of a darker tint to it, so it should help me get that opaque look that old polyurethane gets. As polyurethane ages, it yellows a bit, and it gets a nice amber color, and it starts to become just slightly more opaque, which is why this new stained door isn't really matching the old one as much. I'm also coming through, putting one fresh coat on the uh, unfinished parts of this. 
A day later, I let everything set up and cure. I'm coming back with a sanding sponge to take off the nibs and make everything nice and smooth. And then once I've got the uh, first coat of finish sanded down, I'm gonna come through, wipe it all down with a coat of mineral spirits and a tack cloth to make sure I don't have any dust in my finish. I do this between every coat and we're gonna build up about three coats. Now, once I wiped it down with mineral spirits, I could see what it would really look like. And it looks like I'm gonna have to add a little bit of toner to my finish. So I did that by keeping my stain mix and adding the spar urethane to it. I'm gonna mix this up a bit. You can add around 10% of Minwax's oil stains to their oil finishes. I haven't tried this with the water-based stains. I don't know if you can or not, but I know oil with oil with water with water. This is gonna make the urethane a little bit more opaque, and it's also gonna to tone it, add a little bit more color to this to get me closer to it. I ended up having to do three full coats of this to get just the right color but I think in the end, it's gonna turn out exactly the way I want with this. On the door that had only parts of it stripped, I had to come in and very tightly cut in with my purdy clear cut brush, it makes it real easy to do things like that. But I'm only refinishing these portions and then giving the door one full coat. That'll help it blend. And in the last coat, I added just a little bit of early American stain just to give it a little bit more of a brown kick and take out some of the really bright red. You can really play with this stuff to find just the right color, and that's why I love it. So how did we do going from this to this? Client was super happy, I was super happy, and you can match these historic colors Minwax is a great product for that because a lot of these colors that they have really tie in with the historic colors that were on a lot of these wood doors and windows and floors and things like that. We got a great, nice finish, super smooth, goes perfect with the old hardware, and I couldn't have done it without Minwax. If you've got a home improvement project on your old house you need help with, then definitely check out some of these other videos, subscribe to this channel. We've always got new content coming your way, specifically tailored to people who love old houses. Thanks for stopping by and we'll see you next time.